Okay. So about books, types of books, books in Spanish. Boom. Here's my graphic organizer. I know I can't see it, Heather, but um, I'll post. I'll post a little bit. Uh, I'll post a blog post about this below. Probably not till I get back from picking up my kid, though. So patience. I want to talk to you first about. Um, the first kinds of books that I identify, and this is the most prevalent kind of Spanish book that there is in the United States. These are translated popular texts. And if you come over here to my stand, you can see I've got some examples of that. Soñador, anything by Pam Munoz Ryan. She's amazing. I love all of her books about great Latino characters. They are translated though. So if you can read them in English, read them in English. Um, Oops, this doesn't belong in that category. Let's put that one up there. No dejes que la paloma caduzca. Um, those are all the um, pigeon books. Knuffle Bunny translated, amazing books. You recognize these. Anything by Eric Carle translated. No David translated. And shout out to my, my man from Madison, Wisconsin, Kevin Hanks translated. Great book in English, amazing translated. We know the problem with translations, they don't always translate. Culture doesn't translate and words don't always translate and don't even get me started about Dr. Seuss. Ugh. He's so fun and so whimsical in English, but in Spanish, no tiene sentido. So that's one. Um, English, popular English books translated into Spanish. That's the first kind of Spanish book. That's the most common kind of Spanish book you will find. It's the most inexpensive, affordable. You'll have lots of those in your schools, in your libraries, et cetera, et cetera. Also in nonfiction, it's the absolute most common. I'd say 90% of the market is translated books. And that's even what I found in Latin America. So um, kind of book it's a really important book. And shout out to one of my favorite authors, Monica Brown, because, um, this is the kind of book that is a bilingual book. It's bilingual or some of them are written in Spanish and um, published in the United States. So one of the reasons I make the, distinct, um, the distinction between Spanish books published in the United States and outside of the United States is because books in the United States highlight people like Celia Cruz. Um, I didn't bring her down. Sonia Sotomayor is another one. Who's this? Pele. Okay, so Pele might be might be highlighted in another place because, well, he's not from the United States. He's from Brazil. But um, something like something like oh, Carmen Tafoya's work. Like that. That's that's U.S. culture. That's so important to U.S. culture. This is a really important book. Um, and and uh, I should give a shout out to Cinco Puntos Press. They're publishing amazing stuff. Um, Charo Klaus um, and the Tex Texas Kid, Xavier Garza has written some amazing things. He's the um, also the author of Maximilian, The Mystery of the Guardian Angel. So these bilingual books are also really important for us to have in our libraries. Um, they're not as common, I'm gonna say that. Um, and so they're a book that you, you would want to seek out. And if you're interested in me helping you seek, seek these books out, I'm more than happy to do that. One of the reasons I'm super familiar with these is because I build book collections and I do the, I did them in my, in my school that I worked in forever. I've done them for large organizations and different school districts. So I'd love to help you build your book collection and I, I wanna help you make it a little bit more balanced because so much, so much of the time we're up in here. We're really deep in this area. And we have some of these um, bilingual books, but we need more of them. They're, they're amazing books and they're really important to our kids especially how many of our kids are actually bilingual, born in the United States, right? The so, third category of books um, is, um, is what I call book, Spanish, authentic Spanish books not translated, published outside of the United States. And those are the kinds of books that Bookstill Sir imports, okay? Amazing titles like fantasy fiction, fantasy fiction like Yakai, um, Vista America, upside down, awkward. Um, Vista America is an amazing picture book that talks about all Native American groups around the Americas. Um, the Amadeo series. Uh, uh, Conocen los de cerca. This is the series um, by Tecolote from Mexico of all the animals um, written in poetry form. If you have not seen it, all of the, the three books in this series all look like this amazing with really rich um, information. And then finally, um, hey, why would I not do a, a Facebook Live and not talk about the Anti Princesas, right? So biography series of the Anti Princesas um, is another example. Those are That's a book um, published in the United States but written by authors outside of the United States. States. That is my quick description of um, Spanish books and um, how we, how the sorry, the types of books that are in our Spanish book collections. These Spanish book collections may be in your home, 
They may be in your classroom library, they may be in your school library, they may be in your school book room, but these are the types of books that are in our collections. And it, once we define them, well, the next step is to think about, is analyze the data. What do we have a lot of? What do we have a little of? What do we need more of, right? Those kinds of questions I can help you to answer. I can help you to analyze your data of the book rooms, uh, of the book collections that you have. I'd love to do that for you. Uh, reach out to me. I'm Heather at bookstillsur.org. I'm super late. My stepkids are home. Oh, man. And that means that I'm really late picking up my kid my, uh, from, from daycare. So it's been a pleasure to talk to you. It's been a pleasure to share my shtick with you. Uh, if you're interested, reach out to me, Heather at bookstillsur.org. And I will post when I get home from picking up my child, the uh, blog post that describes these three types of text. And um, let me know how I can help you grow your book collection because our Spanish book collections are what open our kids' eyes to um, being bilingual, and being bilingual is beautiful. Have a good day. Can you hear my kids? <laughs>